will tell you, like all day today, I'm freaking in the bathroom rehearsing for 30 minutes, <laughs> um, trying to not forget what I really want to say. Uh, the first thing, though, is I got uh, the gift card and the present from all of you, and Aaron and I got that, and that is way, way too generous. Um, but you, you guys definitely bought yourself. Jim <laughs> <laughs> will tell you, right? But you guys bought yourself at least another assault bike. And maybe <laughs> <some> <laughs> Um, so, you know, when thinking about coming over the speech, right, you know, each year, I feel like I want to say the same things, but I can't say the same thing over and over again. Uh, come on in. The water's fine. <laughs> 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 so when thinking about what I want to talk about, I thought about, you know, kind of the past seven years, we've been open seven, a little over seven years, and I think, I look around and I see a lot of people that have been with us for three, four, five, six, even seven years, people have been with us since day one, and then I also look around and it makes me really excited as I see all the newbies, right? I see people that have been with us for three, four, five, six, seven months, and that's really cool that you guys came out tonight, because I know it can kind of be daunting to go into a new environment, but you're CrossFitters, so you're good with that. Um, and the, old, the OGs here will tell you that we're probably better at doing this than we are at exercise. But we're totally, <laughs> we're good with that. We're good with that. We're totally fine with that. Um, you know, so uh, a lot has changed in the past seven years. We started out in 1,700 square feet. Um, we had 11 members to start, most of whom were friends and family. Um, you know, since then we've moved twice. Uh, we've tripled our gym size. Probably about 250 members on any given day. Um, you know, we probably had well over 1,000 or 1,500 people walk through our doors over the past seven years. And the great thing is that everyone's still here, as I still call them friends and family. It's great, right? I mean, you guys are amazing. You make this place what it is today. And when Aaron and I talk about what, to us, we love about the gym and what we think makes it tick and continue to grow, it's kind of twofold. One thing is, you know, what we can offer to you, right? We can offer you a clean facility, uh, hopefully good programming, good coaching, social events, uh, community events, those are the things that we can give to you guys. But if you guys don't show up, it doesn't matter, right? So the secret sauce to all of this stuff is you guys. And what does that mean? Well, I started thinking about it. I was talking to someone this week, and we talked about you know, learning new things and how it's kind of like daunting. And as a kid, um, you know, your parents are like, you're, you're going to play soccer, you're going to do this, you're learning this skill, and you're kind of like, uh, I guess I have to do that. And it goes one of two routes. You do it for a while and you're frustrated and all of a sudden you learn it and you think you're good at it, so they're you're like, oh, I like this, right? Or it goes the other route and a couple years go by and your parents are like, no, you know, Timmy gave up gymnastics, he just wasn't good at it, right? <laughs> Which happened, and it's totally fine. Um, and then I started thinking about our community and, and what you guys have done, right? CrossFit is this thing that's fairly new, it has things like burpees and thrusters and snatches that no one knows what the hell they are. Uh, it has an environment where you walk in and it doesn't look like a gym. It looks like a huge jungle gym and there's people with their shirts off throwing around big weights and bad music. And you're kind of like, I'm not sure this is the place for me. Um, but what happens is all of you, you come in and you go through some sort of frustration and you learn a new movement and you go home and you're kind of like, oh, I don't think I did that great today or you're frustrated or you're confused, but you come back day after day, and you learn, and you learn that new skill, and you learn how to climb a, climb a rope, and you learn how to do a ring dip and a, and a snack, and you learn all these new things, and what that in turn does is it creates an environment where new people that come through the door, even drop-ins from other gyms always say is, you guys are so welcoming, and I think it's because you can empathize. You've been down that road of learning that new skill, getting frustrated, having a bad day in the gym, and going home, and all of a sudden, you know, defining your self-worth by your most recent exercise performance, right? <laughs> super, super silly. I do it all the time. I probably do it like three times a week. But, um, you know, self-deprecation is probably the best thing, right? Um, but then you come back the next day and all of a sudden you, you it's something that you like. It's box jump. It's wall ball. And you like that and you feel good. So, hey, come on in. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect time. Street time. It's on Facebook Live. Time's got it. Time's got it. So come on in. Come in. Come in. Come in. <laughs> <laughs> so I think when I think about the people that have been here for a while and then every year that goes on and we kind of have a core group that continues to grow and grow and grow and we call original 908ers, you 
guys make it so welcoming for the new people to come in. So whatever we can do, we do. But I think it's you guys that make it accessible to new people to come in, right? Because we can be as nice as we want. But the reality is when three, two, one, go comes, it's like, uh, shit, what am I doing? So um, Aaron and I are talking about, well, how can we show some appreciation to people that have been here for a while, right? And I was like, oh, I'll take them all out to Roots. For no, that's too much. <laughs> so I thought, oh, what's, what's CrossFit, right? Well, what is CrossFit? You go to a CrossFit gym or you visit a CrossFit gym, what's the first thing you probably get from that place? T-shirt. Right? So you get some apparel. Either you go to a CrossFit gym, you buy some new apparel, you rep it, you love your gym. You go to another gym, you show some support, and you buy their shirt. Right? So I started thinking about our clients and who's been here and for how long. And we kind of came up with a little idea. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to call some people up. So if you hear your name, come up. If you're not here, you should be really disappointed. <laughs> and this list is way bigger than I thought it was going to be. So I'm going to say it fast, so listen up. Raul, Jeff Beckman, Vinny Caravano, Jake, Scott Chisholm, Mike Cornell, Pat Early, Chris Gable, Rich Gallagher, Alan Wong, Greg Jerzak, Greg Coletto, DNP, Ron, Andrew Rippa, Jim Romagnano, Robert Russ, Anthony Satora, Brian Sawyer, Kevin Trangone, PJ, Deb Arendt, Katie Blanco, Carly, Katie Carroll, Melissa DeMarzo, Lara, Maureen, Beth Gallagher, Heather Hurd, T. Cal, Karen Kelly, Jess Morantz, Jill Mahansky, LMP, Sharon Parker, Christina Romagnano, Nicole Terhune, Melissa Varley, and Lori Zimmerman. All right, so Sharon, come on up. Where's Sharon? All right, so Sharon's been with us since the first month that we've been open, right? So, she's a standing member, which is phenomenal. So, one of the things that we wanted to create for you guys, and hopefully you'll find pride in it and you'll want to wear it, is we wanted to give you guys shirts, and we, we called it the Cinco Club. People that have been here for five years, and we got shirts made with your last name on it. Aww. And it's got CrossFit on it. And it's not like any other shirts that we have so far, so it's a little bit unique. And hopefully you guys will sport that with some pride. As you can. So, you know, with that said, it's just every year, we're gonna induct new people at the Christmas party. And the amazing thing is that there were so many people close to being five years this year that next year when we do it, they'll be closer to six. Well, the names I call up tonight is about 40 people. We have another 40 on the docket for next year, which is awesome. I've never been going to college more in my life than I did. <laughs> so we're gonna string you guys out for another year that are really close, you know. Because we got a baby to feed and stuff. Yeah. Um, birthday! I just want to birthday. say thank you guys so much. Happy birthday! And uh, I hope that you guys stay late and see what the Cross the Only party gets into late night. But uh, thank you guys so much for everything and happy holidays. Yeah.